Well, the paint used to preserve 60-foot long steel pipes set to go in this week to replace those that were damaged during the, the high surf in April was flaking off and the city sent those back to the company for replacement. This giant crane was moved into position to begin repairs on the damaged wharf. Some visitors weren't aware it would be closed and neighbors were concerned about the noise, but everyone agreed it needed to be fixed. Well, it would have been nice to see, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, we didn't know about it till today, so looks like it needs to be done. Um, well, it's loud for living right here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think that's great. I mean, we definitely got a lot of rain this season, so, you know, whatever we need to do to keep it, like, the wharf, you know, mobile and working is always a good thing. Other work includes replacing a wood piling that's located about halfway up along the wharf. It's been missing for a while. We had some beams put in, but they need to replace that pile. Then they'll go to the end of the wharf where the steel piles are. Steel pilings are used to hold the floating dock in place. Boat owners use the moving dock to get to and from their boats anchored offshore. Then they'll go to the end of the wharf where the steel piles are and we'll replace two that have been missing. Well, they'll also have divers inspect the other five steel pilings and determine whether or not they need replacing. And the city leaders approved $125,000 funding for the emergency repairs a couple of months ago. Dan. All right, thank you very much, Phil. Since the project is delayed for about two weeks, the wharf is scheduled to reopen tomorrow.